Hello and welcome everyone, I'm your host John RMS, otherwise known as Ace Bullion, and today on a Monday, well, I have something rather unique and special, and, well, a celebration. We're at the end of the series. Yay! I don't have to worry about trying to pronounce any more silly names. Uh, anyway, this coin has been kindly sent in by Martin the Silver Trader, um, so you'll be able to find the link under this video heading here in the more section, it'll be like a little more. Uh, and you'll find the link, It'll, there'll be one for the Silver Trader, the Precious Metal Forum, and of course, Ace Bullion, my own personal website. So with that being said, let's find out what this coin's all about, and uh, I'll have to glove up, I think. Here we go. All right, so... Here we are. This is um, the you know, final coin in the series um, that Atmex has been doing. Um, it is the uh, Seven Wonders of um, the Ancient World. Um, so let's have a good look and see. I've already taken the lid off because, well, I've always wanted to actually, I say always wanted to, I, I want to make sure you can see what this coin's all about. Uh, well, not coin, round. Let me let me get that straight as well for you. So here's the face side of this round. And as you can see there, there's uh, Tetra... Oh, man, I, I hate these words. <laughs> Tetra Drachm. Um, now, there's only 7,777. Yeah, that's right, 777. Seven, seven. Oh, goodness me of these minted worldwide in silver and only 77 in gold. 100% um, exclusive to Atmax. Um, and uh, there it is. So it's actually rather detailed. This one kind of almost looks like it's a proof, um, you know, bullion round, but it's not. And it's not raised either. And you've just seen a little peek of why I also have my gloves on. Um, it's highly, highly um, reflective, uh, so it's an ultra-glossy shine on this round as well. And then as we, we'll flip it over, because we'll have a look at the other side anyway. We have one ounce, let's just block this off. One ounce, 999 fine silver. We're going to cross that, so that's not bad at all. I do quite enjoy something that has just a smooth rim and, uh, yeah, stamped up on the side. So as we take a look, of course, we're going to have the statue of Zeus uh, uh, at Olympia. That's what, obviously, this last one is all about. And uh, this statue was made with a whole bunch of stuff. It, it, it kind of was a hodgepodge of uh, items, but... It was all kind of precious metal, valuable items um, that uh, was built in uh, the um, uh, in Olympia back in four. I think it was four hundred and thirty-five BC, uh, and it stood about forty-two uh, feet tall. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can imagine this being made. I mean, yeah, there was an underlay of wood and everything else, but. Um, having gold, silver, um, there's a whole heap of items, uh, that, you know, were made with it. There's pearls and all sorts. So that's where it comes to. This is the, the statue of Zeus, uh, as it's known. And let's have a look at it a little bit more. Cause I mean, the front side was rather detailed, but let's have a look at this. Yep. Now, see, I actually like this. I have to be really careful because I know I don't have a capsule. Has anyone noticed that symbol there anywhere else? Or perhaps that symbol? Libertad America. No? Okay. Anyway, I thought that was kind of ironic when I was looking through this. Um, I'm not sure if that's accurate or what, but uh, one could argue that's a, you know, an angel. And of course, an eagle, whatever. Um, I'm not looking at it that way. 
The face on this, I have to say, it's not the greatest um, in design. Since it's by far not the worst, but it's kind of a caveman-esque hillbilly. I'm not really... <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry for all you down south, but... Yeah. That is... Yeah, okay. Uh, physique, fine. Old man, but yeah, dang. Uh, see here. It is quite nice. There is some elevation on the this round. Not much, but some elevation. Hmm. And I'm really digging all the thunder and lightning around that. Hmm. So a series is, well, has drawn, I was gonna say is drawing, but has drawn to an end for this round. And with that, of course, now those who have been collecting them can move on to something else. I'm curious to know if you've been collecting uh, this series. Um, have you been proud of it? Have you been happy with it? Do you enjoy it within and amongst your collection? Um, I think it's actually pretty dang awesome, I have to say. Um, however, I am not one to really collect these um, myself, only because, well, I kind of missed out at the very beginning, and yeah, there was just no turning back at all. Um, and, I mean, especially the, the previous coin to this, number six, I could not, for the love of money, pronounce the name, period. It was horrendous trying to pronounce that. And, uh, yeah, I'm so, as far as anything's concerned, am I going to miss the series? No. Um, just because of all the name and pronunciations. However, the, you know, attention to detail and actual production of this, I have to say, is amazing. Um, this this round, I, I keep wanting to say coined, is absolutely flawless. I, I can't find, you know, imperfection on it. I'm not looking for one, uh, per se, but nothing leaps out and, you know, says there's an imperfection. So, as I said, there we are, another end, and uh, that is it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, today's video. It's a Monday. It's... Yeah, I'm still slightly waking up, so apologies here. Um, despite having everything written down and all sorts of stuff. Um, yeah, it's one of these kind of struct videos. Um, but uh, yeah, so there you go. Please share this video around. Leave a, a big thumbs up if you can. It always does help. It supports the channel. Check out the Precious Metal Forum where it's free. You know, you guys can join up for free. You can buy, sell. No... Uh, silliness ahead of time. Um, it really is a family forum, so keep it you know family friendly. Uh, with that being said, as well, um, yep, yeah, have a look at Ace Bullion. You know, support support the pores, man. All the pores out there. Anyway, yeah, there you go. So that's it, folks. Uh, have a great Monday, and I shall see y'all later. Bye for now. Thank you.